Hello, hope you are well. My name is Frank and welcome back to my channel. It is a pleasure to have you here with me today. And I'm going to show you guys a quick meal update. I have drastically changed some things over the past few days, kind of similar to stuff I was doing a year, year and a half, two years ago when my health wasn't as good. And the reason for this is, I mean, for a lot of things, you guys always give me feedback and usually there's a few people that either remind me of things or tell me something I didn't know that I can look into and try myself. Uh, those two main things today are, uh, you know, we used to grind the mastic into powder instead of having the pebbles, which is much more effective. And I've changed up my water source and I'm not drinking kefir, but let me show you guys the meal and then we'll get into that. So the protein for today is a beautifully cooked, I must say, compliments to the chef, bottom round roast. Uh, this is from some local Angus beef uh, we just had processed, should be available next week on Frankie's syringe meat in 20 pound packages. I'm just comparing the ground beef because we got two different cows. One was a bull, uh, one was a heifer, I believe. Marbling, you know, it's relatively lean, but you could tell, you know, the one on the right is a little darker meat, one on the left, and they both taste pretty similar. I would say this one has a stronger flavor. I don't think it's a good or a bad flavor. It's definitely unique and interesting and something I've never tasted before uh, because of the type of pasture that the cattle were on. So for our main carbohydrate, we have some white rice that was prepared earlier. We're just going to throw it in the pan to warm it up. And for my uh, fiber source, we're having some cannellini beans. And to my knowledge, they're not super duper high in potassium, at least as much as cauliflower, but... I don't think potassium is my main issue. I showed you guys this last week. We just had the rice in the Instant Pot for eight minutes on low pressure and the beans, I'm just gonna saute quick in some salt and oil. Did I show you guys this last week how I heat up the rice? I don't remember, uh, but some of you might have noticed. We don't have the Mountain Valley anymore. I'll get into that a little later. So with the rice, you put some water in the pan. So this is a lot more rice than I can eat, but you know, I'm not gonna leave that rice in that pot for another day or two. So we're just gonna cook the rest of it. So for the cannellini beans, I'll take about half of the can and then I'll just leave the rest on the counter until I use them the next day or a few hours later. Quick rinse with some water. So the rice takes a few minutes to heat up. Then I just put the beans in the pan, sprinkle of salt, a little bit of oil. I mean, I usually just leave these in the pan for 30 seconds to warm them up. I'm sure if you want, you can crisp them up a little bit. So before we sit down to eat, we're gonna smash up the masticum into a powder. We have our box of masticum, Ziploc bag, uh, kitchen towel, and something heavy. I'm using a marble rolling pin. We are now in the floor of my garage where I have concrete with some horse mats on top. So, you know, we're not gonna break anything or tiles or marble countertops smashing this stuff. So masticum into the Ziploc bag. And, and normally this has a bag in it too. So I would double layer the plastic bags. Uh, if you hit this too hard and smash it, the, the mastic will break the plastic and start going all over the place. I'm just gonna kind of spread it out. So it's like one layer of mastic. I'm gonna put the other towel on top and then Alternatively, you can use a spice grinder, which I need to get another one because I've broken like eight of them. Uh, but a spice grinder would definitely be a lot better and easier for this, or a coffee grinder. Just put this in there, blitz it up. You probably want a dedicated one for this, but this is the, uh, the quick fix. So after you beat it a little bit, it's kind of powdered and pebbled. And you could really get this into a fine dust, and that would be ideal uh, for the coverage, but we'll talk about that more when we go to eat. And usually I'll put this back in the box. So we have our protein, the lean bottom round roast beef, organic white rice cooked in Fuji water. We have our cannellini beans that were just lightly sauteed, uh, salt and small amount of coconut oil on everything. We got the masticum, our antimicrobial. I have some other stuff here. I'm just gonna take some charcoal. We might have an apple for dessert. Um, I was putting the steak seasoning on this because it's, it's a very strong uh, beef flavor with the local Angus beef and that kind of helped cut through it, but I just wanted to taste it without it. Uh, but I have been enjoying this uh, a little bit. And the kefir greens, I might try tomorrow 
uh, with the meal, but I'm trying to reduce my calcium intake. And although water kefir and the Mountain Valley water don't have that much calcium, I think it's like 80 milligrams of calcium per bottle. You know, if I'm drinking two or three bottles, I'm ha you know, molasses and the water kefir, I might actually be getting like 250 to 300 milligrams of calcium a day. And the reason uh, I don't want that is because when I take magnesium, and it's always been like this for years, uh, I get insomnia. So I'm assuming maybe, you know, from all the raw dairy I used to eat, I never really depleted my body's calcium stores because you should be able to take magnesium. So I'm going to try to basically zero as little calcium as possible in the diet for a few weeks and see how I feel. Uh, because of that, I bought some Fiji water instead of the Mountain Valley. So this has 23 milligrams of calcium, so less than one third the amount of calcium that the Mountain Valley has, and it's also uh, more magnesium, although it's still not as much magnesium as calcium. This is definitely um, probably the healthiest water to drink in general. Uh, it's actually famous for healing kidney stones. You know, here on here it says low minerals content, very low total dissolved solids, and this water tastes really good too. It's just uh, I don't think you could actually make the water kefir with this. The mineral content's too low. And uh, it's not that easy to find, but uh, it is an Italian water. And I went down to Arthur Avenue to buy a few cases. So I'm just going to try that out for a little bit. The idea being that, hey, maybe after three or four weeks of low calcium, that my body has naturally depleted it and then I can take some magnesium. But here we have the beef. It's good, very plain, very fresh. Same with the rice. So I'll put some of the aged balsamic on the roast beef. And this actually looks like enough for two meals. So maybe what I'll do so I don't have to cook tomorrow for the first meal is uh, save half of the rice and beef. Now I will say that I feel a lot better when I drink the water kefir, but we're going to skip it for a little while. So this is what I used to do when I was doing the heavy antimicrobial protocols. I was taking a lot of enzymes. I would pound up the mastic gum into a powder. And uh, thank you to the viewer that reminded me to do this. I got lazy, you know, I just to, to do that every few days. I just didn't want to do it. I mean, it's a, a little more difficult to take it like this. Uh, so I was just doing the pebbles. But, you know, to be honest, uh, if you just swallow the pebbles without chewing them a little bit or breaking them up like this, it's really not that effective of an antimicrobial against um, against H. pylori. So now I take about a teaspoon of powder, and I would say this is probably you know five to ten times more effective powderized like this. It just can be um, a little hard on the stomach if you've never used it before. Or you're not ready for it. Just make sure to really hydrate it because, you know, it's like swallowing dust, so it can get a little dry. But no, it doesn't really taste like much, a light pine resin flavor, and uh, it's actually pretty enjoyable. The, uh, <laughs> the funny thing is I, I try to make cookies with this stuff once, and oh, the cookies were horrible, but it's not that bad on its own. Yeah, because even if I only take like 200 milligrams of magnesium, sometimes I have sleeping issues, but ma the magnesium makes me feel a lot better, so... My hair mineral analysis does not indicate uh, altered calcium storage, so I guess we'll find out in a few weeks. You know, I was feeling really good eating just like this for like two, three weeks, and one day I threw myself off track. I started having, uh, I made Iberico pork cutlets, put it on some sourdough bread, had some organic tater tots. Ooh, it was pretty good. Pretty good, man. But I can tell, you know, my brain function and my energy threw it off a little bit you know taking a lot of magnesium and k2 would hypothetically flush the calcium out but you know you can't just deal with those detox symptoms if i took like two grams of magnesium i might not sleep for like a week or two all right so i'm not really like stuffed full but i definitely don't want to eat anymore and uh i don't think i have enough for tomorrow i ate about half the beans Maybe 70% of the rice and uh, most of the meat, too. All right, so for dessert, I have my peeled apple.
probably don't need it, but I'm gonna take uh, two charcoal capsules just in case. I know my digestion's doing better for sure because you know, I don't have to take all those antimicrobials or enzymes anymore. And even now, if I don't have a meal with water kefir, I still feel pretty good. So, you know, my gut is definitely more balanced and healthier to some degree, but because, you know, my liver and uh, pancreatic function is still inhibited, it, it seems pretty easy for the, the H. pylori to overgrow. Um, I was feeling better taking the high dose vitamin C the other week, but it gave me insomnia, so I had to stop doing it. Someone said that it turns into oxalates, but I don't think that's uh, completely accurate. So I got to clean up my kitchen and do some more work on my computer. Hopefully I get to bed before 3 a.m. because my schedule is just completely screwed. Uh, but thank you guys for joining. You know, I've showed you a bunch of different stuff today that we've switched up a little bit. Uh, the Masticum is available on organsupplements.com. I am wearing my Wi-Fi shielding uh, shirt and joggers. The full coverage guys, I've been feeling even better than just, you know, the tank top and stuff, which I still have underneath for two layers, but, uh, you know, full arms, full legs, very, very important, wifi shielding.com. We should have some new products on there in a few weeks or maybe a month or two. So uh, I'll definitely talk about that in the vlog next week, as well as uh, some new naturals products we might have. But if you guys want this high quality beef, you can go to frankiesrangemeat.com. I will have the Angus beef package available by early next week probably I just have to do the inventory and the steak seasoning is on there as well you guys can go to organ supplements as I said for the mastic gum we have the water kefir a whole bunch of other products on Frankie's range foods.com uh, sometimes I put the collagen broth in my rice but all of those businesses guys are on frank-stefano.com so thank you guys for joining me and as always please leave a like on the video Subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. And be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Thanks again, guys. And I'll see you for tomorrow. Don't lose my fucking mind. Mm -hmm.